Hello everyone, how are you guys? I hope you all are doing great. Okay, so in this series of tutorial, you will understand about what is MongoDB, why we are going to use MongoDB, how to use MongoDB, and if you want, how to install MongoDB onto your EC2 server, which is an AWS cloud. Okay, so the first part in this series of tutorial will be theory about what MongoDB is and you, you need to understand this as you should be aware that the technology that you are going to use, what is the purpose behind it? Okay, if you want to skip this theory part, you can directly go to the part 2 where we are going to install MongoDB onto our local system. Okay, so let's start. So agenda for this series of tutorial is introduction to the MongoDB as I told you MongoDB installation which will be the second part third part will be the MongoDB basic operations come uh, like onto your local server and last part will be executing the same commands of MongoDB onto the AWS cloud. So I will tell you each and every um, steps how to install MongoDB onto the cloud and how to access it from your local system and everything okay so let's start introduction to mongodb so i will just give you a background as you are seeing this graph you can see from 2000 due to uh, due to the fast internet connection the demand of data has risen so tremendously you can say logarithmically it has increased it exponentially it has increased right so web application data has increased in exabytes these are things are in exabytes okay so you need to understand that from the web application you can get a different kinds of data okay and it may or may not be relational relational means what one data is related to the other data so in most of the cases web application will send us a random kind of data based on some personal profiles right like facebook data and if suppose you are creating account then google data uh, instagram data these all data are characterized in a non-relational ways why because you never know what kind of data will you will receive so with the emergence of internet the boom of data has given rise to no sql database okay non no no sql database or non-relational database if you don't know about NoSQL database or non-relation database, I will put a link up there. You should watch my tutorial on what is NoSQL database. It will clarify you on that. Okay. So no schema. What does it mean that MongoDB does not have any schema? So I will tell you through one example. Think you have went to a doctor. Okay. So a doctor will ask you some questions. Just think that like uh, he asked you three questions that is name what is your name you replied alpha what is your age you replied 18 and based on uh, whatever symptoms that you told he has written two medicine a and b okay so what will happen the doctor will send those details into one file right to be kept uh, and this file will be given to you as well as one copy will go to the uh, a repository of that hospital so that when next time you come it will help you right so what is the process when you go to the doctor right in a big hospital especially they will create a file for whatever uh, uh, the cases you went they will give one file to you and they will keep one file for themselves and they will keep that thing into their own archive suppose one more person went there the doctor will ask him also the same basic questions hey what is your name what is your age what is uh, like and based on the symptoms of whatever he is displaying he will give him some medicine xyz medicine and he he is also is allergic so doctor will write that allergic information also because he is allergic the beta is allergic to dust but alpha is not allergic to anything so he will not write any allergic column into it right so the same process will go on for the beta he will they will doctor will create a uh, folder of uh, that guy of beta one folder will be given to you one folder of file will be given to you to carry to yourself and one file will be kept into the archive of hospital right so this kind of system 
is there in MongoDB. In MongoDB, all those details, suppose name, age, medicine, are stored in the form of key and value pair. Right? So this is the format which is being used and this is a JSON format. In JSON format, suppose name is there, so name will be key. Age is there, so age will be key. Medicine is there, medicine is the key. Key are those values which are static. Okay, it will not change for any other person. But value will always change. Right? So in JSON format, you will store the data. In the same way, for beta person, you will store all these details in a JSON format. But here, as you can see, one more key has increased. Which key has increased? Yes, allergy key has increased. Why? Because he is allergic to something. So as you can see, both alpha and beta are generating a JSON file or a JSON document, but both are having different number of columns. Right? Name is there, age is there, and medicine is there in alpha. Name is there, age is there, medicine, as well as allergy is there in beta. So in MongoDB, based on the data, documents are being formed. Okay, so in MongoDB, this is the system. But uh, if you will be have a comparison, then as SQL, these name, age, and medicine will form like a columns, right? And the values that you are storing it here, which is called documents, is also known as a rows. Okay, and when you are where you are storing the value, that is the archive, right? All the files are going to some archive. So these locations are known as collections or in SQL, you can say it as a table. Documents, a single document is known as a rows because it contains all the information and where it is kept at collection. That is also known as a table. Okay, I think this will uh, create a mental picture of you that whatever the information is there for any object or any person, it will be kept into one document and that document, all the documents, collection of all the documents are, known, are to be stored into the collection, right? So um, there is some common term that you need to remember in RDBMS database is known as a database, MongoDB database is known as a database. In RDBMS table is there, in MongoDB collections is there. So in table, what you are going to store? Through rows, you are going to store the data in table. Through documents, you are going to store the data in collections. Right? So columns are the field. So in MongoDB, it is a field itself. Join operations are there in RDBMS. Why join operations are there in RDBMS? Because they are having a relational data. Right? For a single person, suppose for a single person, you are making two call, uh, two different tables. For example, you are making a table for employee so for employee information you will keep a one table right that like your employee id is this your mobile number is this and and your id card suppose your aadhar number is this and based on this aadhar number you will also keep some more information that uh, like suppose uh, a house information table is there in which you are kept the information for this person same person all these details of his house so the two tables are related using what is Aadhaar ID. So this is a join is there. But in MongoDB, what will happen is in single file based on its Aadhaar, all details will come. Okay. They both have their different use. Okay. Last thing is primary key. In RDBMS also primary key is there. In MongoDB, that primary key is represented by underscore ID. Okay. Let's move ahead. So now we understood have a basic concept of MongoDB, right? So MongoDB is what? MongoDB is open source. Beautiful part of it is it is open source as same like a MySQL, which is a relational database. It is an agile database. Why agile database? Because you can store any kind of data, right? Any literally any kind of data. No need to define the structure of the database, right? Doctor don't ask you, right? Like uh, you should answer in this format. No, based on the experience, based on the question and answer in front of the doctor, he is going to write onto your file. In the same way, based on your input, it will be written onto the file. File means document. 
document will be stored where it will be stored in collection that is the table okay so full index support it means that as i told you like aadhar card aadhar card is your index which will tell you like which document you need to find so it will be a very high performing thing right because you already know all the information about this index will present in a single file that's the beauty of it so it is easily scalable because of sharding automatic sharding and it is based on like it will provide uh these few uh, functionalities like a uh, few advantages i can say it is will be a scalable it will be easily readable because all the informations are there about a person a single place high performance because you can easily find it in the index it is always available because suppose you will make two uh, you are replicating at two places single document so it will always be available and last see right now all the major language which is being used i will tell you that like java okay one of the favorite language python one of the favorite language of all time right not all time python python it is not for all time but yeah java you can say but right now python is at like cruising right all these languages are object based so mongodb is also a object based language moving ahead document store will also give you a fixed schema as i already told you that you can store any kind of data it will have have the specific key for each document like aadhar card or primary key like underscore id json or boson or xml any kind of format you can store use to store the data but most probably you should always use json that is very easy and in rest apis all those kind of thing it will be much more easier so it queries are really simple based on the document because you just need to find the details based on the id right so documents in documents database are usually organized in collections right documents are reduced and no need to have any join we already understood that point so who are using the mongodb these are the different companies who are using mongodb you know why because it is easily accessible you can have all the information about your employee into a single file and it is easy to access so let's uh, uh, install the mongodb onto your system and let's see what mongodb can do so please go to my second tutorial where we are going to install mongodb into our local uh, system okay thanks please like share and subscribe and definitely press the bell icon to get notifications